Alto, California. It's the Q at Pier 2.0. Brought to you by the Pier 2.0 Foundations. Learn, connect, and grow. Now here are your hosts, John Berger and Jeff Frick. to the Cube. We are here in Silicon Valley for a special Cube presentation of Pier 2.0. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Valley. My co-host Jeff Frick here in the Palo Alto as a prelude to the Cube Silicon Valley. Um, Pier 2.0 is really a grassroots, awesome influencer, authoritative event, people in networking. Jeff, um, we're here right across the street from our offices uh, in Palo Alto, great event. What's your take on what's happening? Well, it's fun, you know, John, just what, a week or so ago, we were at AT&T Park really focusing on the practitioners and, and kind of the, uh, the pointy end of the spear, if you will, in terms of technology and innovation and, and people leveraging it and actually uh, internet and high density Wi-Fi and connectivity was a big part of that conversation. So now we've kind of gone down into the weeds. Uh, we're excited to be here at an event. It's really an educational event. It's a community event put on by the foundation to talk about next gen peering and next gen uh, internet protocols. And, and I look forward to really getting into it with some of these guys. We're going to get techy, we're going to get geeky. I know you're excited uh, to talk about what are the challenges that we've come up to now and what are these guys really putting down to take us to the next level uh, to enable things like Internet of Things and the industrial internet and, and all kind of the promise that we talk about quite often. Yeah, one of the things that's really important about this event here at Pier 2.0 is, is that the networking business has changed. And certainly we've chronicalized and, and documented the whole software-defined networking opportunity, certainly going way back to Nasira and then VMware. So software-defined networking is really part of that whole virtualization trend with cloud, mobile, and social. But there's a whole nother uh, theater of innovation, Jeff, going on where net neutrality and the freedom of the internet has forced the government and, and the lobbyists to kind of change their tune about who gets access to the internet, and right now, Everyone wants that internet for free, and that's enabled the Netflixes of the world. So what you're seeing is a huge uh, changing of the guard between who runs these big networks. Comcast and Time Warner, obviously in, in a merger situation. If they control access to the internet, we might not see the next Netflix. We not, might not see the next Google. So there's a huge pressure to maintain that internet freedom, that broadband evolution. We're still, as a country, lacking relative to other uh, countries in terms of broadband penetration and speed. So we all want faster broadband, we all want our MTV, or we want our broadband, that kind of, that's a philosophy. And, and this group here are guys who built the internet. You got executives from YouTube, LinkedIn, people who build the original hosting companies here in Silicon Valley, run the big networks. They're changing the game, that's what it's all about. Yeah, the other thing that it's interesting is they're actually giving back too, in a way. The, there's a, a huge focus on education here. Uh, there's a large number of, of students from Stanford and Berkeley uh, and some of the other local universities. So it's nice that the guys that kind of pioneered a lot of the innovation, founded a lot of the early companies like Equinix, um, are now you know, really starting to, to provide the education and giving back to the next generation of engineers that are coming up through the system that will help us to find you know, where this thing goes next and, and, and what the future holds. Yeah, we're going to talk to Jay Adelson, who's also the founder of Dig, obviously a co-founder of Equinox. Um, great, great companies, obviously uh, Rev3, involved in, in, in tech TV and all these uh, emerging technologies early on. You know, we were doing, when I was doing podcasting, he was also involved in Dig. Yeah, Jay's a veteran in terms of hosting and internet, internet freedom, internet uh, democratization. Also with Dig, you saw the first social crowdsourcing kind of application. Obviously that kind of went <laughs> into a different direction. But Rev3 was, was an episodic video operation which was bought by you know, Discovery. So you know, Jay's an awesome guy, he's involved in IIX, which is a company that recently got funded by NEA for 10 million. There is definitely some action happening here in the, in the valley around a lot of these, these alpha geeks around networking, Jeff, and what's going to happen is the output of all this is this grassroots organization called peer2.0.org, and that's a group of experts who come together to be the guardians, the custodians of this freedom of the internet. So, you know, at the same time, having an organic freedom-based internet, you also want to enable innovation. So as companies that we talk to move to the hybrid cloud, that's where the innovation starts to connect. And you see businesses getting funded by VCs. It's not philanthropy, it's for business. And that's really where the collision is. It's, the, it's that grassroots organization for doing the right thing, but also enabling business growth. Yeah, and, and it's fun, because we, we talk about you know, cloud as not only an in, in architecture and an in infrastructure, but really as a way of thinking and a way of delivering applications and a way of delivering capability out to the people that need to use it. But as we know, the cloud's got to actually exist somewhere. There's got to be some servers, there's got to be power, there's got to be 
be networking, compute and storage. So again, uh, we take the cube out, we like to go to all types of events. This is really a, a different type of event than kind of our typical really large show because we're talking about to the technicians, we're talking about the guys that invented it, we're talking about the guys that are implementing it, and talking about the guys that are really helping define the future. Well, we're here uh, live in Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE, you're watching, uh, watching live broadcasts of Pier 2.0 here in Silicon Valley, it's where all the action is. We're going to go out and talk to the experts here and just really get the scoop and what is this all about. Uh, it's going to be kind of a deep dive format, Jeff. We're going to just ask the tough questions, uh, which are really more educational, exploratory, and get into the weeds and find out what are the core issues. Is this net neutrality debate a forcing function? Is the freedom of the internet a concern? What is the purpose of this grassroots organization? Where's the business model? Where's <laughs> Where's the money being made and, and who's making it? So that's the questions we're going to ask. Stay tuned. This is theCUBE. We'll be right back. <laughs>